Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com, and in this video fellow. here, I'm going to show you how to complete you all the puzzles in Durlag's Tower, lower level Perhaps 2. We just wait. So, uh, we're starting right here, as you can see, at the very, very start. Nothing is explored, no traps are disarmed, none of that this stuff. Way. So, the very first thing you want to do is we need to get to the throne room. So, in order to do that, we need to go south into the statue room here, and we need to click on this southern statue right here. You can tell when you mouse over it, it has two little uh, arrows pointing to each other in a circle. This is an important thing to look for because it lets you know that the object is interactable. Which, uh, there's going to be a few objects we need to interact with throughout basically this entire tower. Once you click on that statue, it opens the door to this bedroom, as you can see. And you're going to need to uh, take two things from this bedroom. First thing you need to do is take the ward stone out of this table, and this is going to open these doors as well as summon Durlag's uh, phantom ghost spirit thing, which is going to talk to you. Here he is. He'll teleport around the room a few times before eventually teleporting up by this end table and attacking you. He'll turn into a dub, uh, a greater what doppelganger and attack. All right, all right. What you want? In this bedroom, you also need to interact with this end table next to the bed That's right what? here where you see Imuin at. Right here. This end table is going to have another ward stone in it that you need to pick up. Oh. Fuck that greater oh, doppelganger right. up. Yep. And that's all you need out of this room. There are a few more things you can collect in this room if you want. Uh, that's all optional loot though. I'm not going to cover the optional loot with this guide. This guide is going to be specifically to show you how to do the puzzles. So, go back to the statue room and click on this northern statue here. And this is going to open the doors into the training room up here to the north. See the training room? As you can see, it is uh, trapped out the ass. So, disable the traps. If you're playing on story mode, you don't really have to, but I'm going to do it for the purposes of this video. To waste your time, sorry. I usually don't like doing that, but I don't like getting hit with the traps either because they're annoying. You, so I you'll see three training dummies chance. in this room. What you need to Your do is you need to uh, attack the yellow one, the one over here on the left. My blade will cut you down the side. This is going to open these doors. It's also going to make Durlag's spirit spawn and talk to you again. Again, he's gonna he's gonna yes. yabber I... on for a little bit, and then he's going to uh, turn into a doppelganger and attack. We're all do what is the point. Okay, I'm gone. He's also going to make a fart cloud on the ground when he turns into the doppelganger, which is very, very deadly if you're playing on higher difficulties. Because it'll knock your characters down and then he gets to basically whack the shit out of you. With him dead, <laughs> move over to this uh, training dummy, the silver one on the far, on the right hand side. Also, keep in mind, you can also uh, loot all three of these training dummies if you want to. Now, attack the silver training dummy on the right-hand side. And you'll notice this opens the door to the throne room like this. And uh, now we're done the first half of this floor. Technically, we're Hurry done the harder up. half of this well. floor. The rest of the floor is pretty straightforward. So here's the throne room. You're going what to get you your first best-in-slot uh -huh. item from... And watch from this, this throne room. This helmet right in front of the throne. When you pick this helmet up, it starts the event. You can see, uh, much like before, Durlag pops in. There's a little blah blah blah. And uh, Don't he calls me, in two I... ads. And they all turn into doppelgangers. Wish? One thing that's worth mentioning, again, if you're not playing on story mode, you might want to fight these enemies outside of this room. You can pull them into the room up north, if you want, and make the fight a lot easier. Otherwise, you have to deal with this gas cloud, and that's not good. Yes. Oh. Hurry up. Very well. Also, these enemies will drop Durlag's goblet, as you can see, blood-filled goblet. Uh, I do what recommend you pick time? that up. It, I guess, depends on the sort of player you are. Some people consider it, like, a best-in-slot item because it's a, an amazing consumable. Other people it's consider it nearly worthless. Uh, I'm kind of in the nearly worthless category. Essentially, what it does is when you drink out of the goblet, it will heal you. However, it will make you flee if you're in battle. So, I guess the, uh, 
the catch is to not drink it when you're in battle and to use it to heal yourself in between Wait, battles. However, there's like I'm other gone. ways to do that that aren't also annoying. Like I would just drink normal potions instead of using the goblet because then you also have to like resell the goblet and buy it back constantly to refill the charges and Hurry blah, up, blah, blah, you blah. Insist. So once you disable all the traps in this torture room up here, what you need to do is go down to I'm this uh, opening here and loot the ward stone. The ward stone will make uh, these yeah, symbols on the ground appear. Also, when you open the case that the ward stone is in, you're going to get some doppelgangers spawning in this room up here to what the uh, the torture room, as all you right, see the doppelganger right. spawn. You only my characters <laughs> you're a queer fellow. destroyed them quite this easily. Your wish? All Take right, all, all of your right. characters into the teleportation room here and click on the rune on the ground. You'll notice you get the little cogwheel icon when you mouse over the rune. What you want? I've done also, don't forget to grab this uh, other ward stone from the other flower pot when you teleport across. Be careful in this room. There are a lot of traps in this room. There's the main trap. Each of these jars is also going to have a trap. None of these jars are really worth looting, though. They all have just one healing potion in them apiece. There's also going to be a trap up here. Uh... Hurry up! All right, all right. I'm gonna run all my characters into this room. What would you have me? Let's well. open this door. Your wish? So this hallway right, here right. is, uh, I like to call it the gas hallway. There's some traps in this hallway, but more importantly, there's gas that will constantly spawn out of these holes in the wall. You can see that was one of the traps that uh, shoots fireballs out. And uh, if you rush through this hallway, it will kill you. It shoots like multiple fireballs. You can see we're continuously springing those traps. Oh yeah, three really fireballs just like that. Bandage over here. Oh yeah. So moving back up here, <laughs> they keep hitting the fireball traps. It's funny. Moving back up here to uh, this area, you can see these areas. The things are trapped. Once you go across from the teleportation room, this is a very important room to uh, to do. So pay attention. There you go. You can see I opened the secret door here, south of the room with the uh, the four whatever you call it. And you can see this room is trapped to kingdom come. Make sure you disable that trap when you first arrive and disable the trap on this big statue too. You'll notice you can not only loot the statue, but the two uh, cauldrons that are next to the statue. So the statue has a ward stone that you want to grab. Apparently my inventory is full. So give me a second. Okay, the statue has a ward stone that you want to grab like that, and I think when you grab the ward stone, the, uh, the door closes, doesn't it? Apparently not. Apparently only when you spring, spring the trap does it close. Next to the statue, you'll find some loot in each of the cauldrons, as you can see. But neither has the, uh, neither have anything that important. The ward stone is the main item what that we want. What would you have me do? Very well. So, you'll notice in this room here, uh, there's actually... <laughs> A trap going down these stairs and these stairs are not the way down to the next floor these stairs are just a, a fake way down to the next floor in order to go down to the next floor you actually need to go through that door here and did that door just seriously open yeah it did i think okay so the ward stone that we grabbed up here is the one that opens this door here and this basically allows you to go down to the third floor However, you don't, uh, all right, all right. we're not done with this floor yet. There's still a few optional things to do on this floor, which is what I'm going, I'm going to show you, uh, in this video. <laughs> More traps in this room. Uh, this game likes to put, uh, like the second enemies appear in front of you, it'll usually put a trap there because if you uh, if you see enemies and then you immediately charge towards them, you're going to trigger traps, and that's the that's the catch. And they do a very good job of that in Durlag's Tower. Jeez Louise! Oh my! Well, that would have killed like basically anybody if they weren't playing on a. Story mode. This room is also trapped to Kingdom Come. 
I'll show you in a second when we get close. There we go. There's a few of them. Huh, you're a queer fellow. And we'll pick up the rest of the traps. What would you have me do? Let me actually pull back to you this room. Stand back so this room, you might notice it's got a whole this. bunch of dwarven doom guards in it. Oh yeah, we don't have anybody who can pick the chest. We need somebody you to wish? pick the all chest. Right, all right. Uh, the Dwarven Doom Guards will not become hostile to you until you loot items out of uh, the chests that are in front of them. You can make them hostile to you by attacking them, I think. Let me actually test that. Because this is just something I've read. It's not something I've actually done before. Okay, cool. You can make them hostile by attacking them. So you could technically probably pull them one by one by making them hostile to you that way and attacking them that way if you wanted to uh, pull them out of the room. I'd recommend you don't activate them when you're standing in the room. As you can see, they hit very, very, very hard. So you want to fight them either one at a time or you want to fight them after you finish buffing up all of your characters quite a bit. So going back to Imowen, let's disarm I've some of these traps that are in our way. And as you can see, there's nothing in this room. When I hold down tab, nothing comes up. Although it does, there is a little shortcut over here to the master bedroom if you wanted it, if you cared about it. Uh. That trap probably would have killed me if I wasn't playing on story mode. And here is the most important room on this floor. This is called the switch room. Okay, you see all of these little boxes on the wall? Each of these, when you mouse over them, they, ha they will bring up this little uh, two arrows pointing to each other in a circle icon that I've described multiple times before. Every single switch you can click on, and when you click on one of these switches, it's going to open or close a door. So I clicked on that, and then you look for, okay, it opened and closed this door here. You, can, you remember that door to the master bedroom was closed prior, and now it's open. Now, uh, what you want to do usually is you want to use this to open any doors that are currently closed. Uh, also, if you don't have that ward stone, I'm pretty sure you can open this door that leads to the stairs that will go down to the next floor. Uh, every single door, or most every single door, has a, uh, has a switch that will open it except for this door right here that leads to the throne room. So the very, very first door here that we went through that led to the throne room that we opened by hitting the, uh, the silver um, sparring dummy, this door I, I think is bugged. I could be wrong. If somebody knows other than me, please let me know in the comment section below. I've hit every one of the switches in the switch room and I cannot get this door to, uh, to open up using any of the switches. I'm not sure... Uh, I know how to open this door. You have to have the ward stone from the, uh, from the end table next to the bed that I'm mousing over now. You have to have that in your inventory as well as hit the silver sparring dummy here. If you do both of those things, this door will open. However, this door closes and then I have not figured out a way to reopen it. Maybe, uh, let me do this. Let me drop all of my ward stones on the ground and see if this, uh, if it will allow me to, if it will open it when I pick them up. Nope. Yep. So yeah. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing so much attention to this one door and it being closed is because if you leave Durlag's tower, uh, on the fourth floor, there will be a way to teleport out of Durlag's tower and then, uh, you can vendor and then come back. If you leave Durlag's tower and this door is closed, you will not be able to get back in to, uh, and pass that door. Unless you have an alternative way like you've seen here with these doors opening and then you can, you know, skip through here. So just... Keep that in mind and make sure because this is one of those older games where you can permanently fuck yourself by not preparing ahead of time and doing something, you know, improper. So, and I've done that before, which is why I'm warning you. But really, that's all there is to it. That's all of the rooms on this floor and basically everything you need to know about I level two in Joe Lang's Tower. All right, all right. Again, if I forgot anything, left anything out, or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. And if this video did help you out, please leave me a like because that helps me out. Aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Baldur's Gate 1 videos. Peace.